Good morning, Farmington. Today is Monday, May 17th. My name is Katie Cater, bringing you your morning news. Today for lunch, we'll be having turkey sandwich, corn dog, green peas, California blend veggies, romaine salad, fruit, fruit juice, and milk. Returning school-issued Chromebooks, students will return their Chromebooks and chargers to the library during their English class on May 19th and May 20th. If you've lost your charger or any extra chargers you checked out, it will be a $25 fee per charger. If your screen is busted, it will be a $30 charge. If you lost your Chromebook completely, it will be a $150 charge. If you do not return your Chromebook by Thursday, May 27th, you'll be assessed a $150 lost Chromebook fee on May 28th Friday. See Miss Bush for questions. If you signed up for AP Government or AP US History for next year as a class or an alternative, please check your email for an invitation to the Google Classroom Summer Homework, which will be posted on Google Classroom. Senator John Boozman's con Congressional Youth Cabinet will provide selected high school students in Arkansas with an opportunity to influence the policy making process and better understand how Congress works. The goal of this program is to foster a lifetime commitment to civic engagement and public service. Senator Boozman feels very strongly that we should all be givers in our town and cities where we live. This Congressional Youth Cabinet is a nonpartisan in initiative that will expose students to the importance of the legislative process in ways that citizens can get involved. Members of this cabinet will also have the opportunity to provide Senator Boozman with their own ideas about solving current issues facing young Americans. Through this program, young Ar Arkansans will gain a solid understanding of how they can make a positive difference in their communities and their country. Please complete the application process to be considered for membership in the Congressional Youth Cabinet online at the link on the screen under the Student Resources tab. Farmington would you like to own some cardinal gear and be able to support a good cause? Well, now you can. Check your class of Google Classroom for the Farmington Gear fundraiser or visit the link on the screen. All proceeds will go towards the class of 2023. Students, are you interested in, in a fall or spring 2021 to 2022 internship as a student athletic trainer with Miss Melinda Rector, the certified athletic trainer for Farmington High School. Qualified candidates should pick up an application outside of room D101. Completed applications are due back to Miss Gates no later than Thursday, May 20th. Are you interested in representing the entire student body in the school and community? Are you interested in making Farmington High a better place for all students? Then the student council is for you. Officer and representative positions are available. See Mr. Smith in room D208 to get on the ballot. Elections will be held on May 17th and May 18th. High school GT students, please check your email for information from Mr. Silva regarding some awesome opportunities to attend special programs and camps this summer free of charge to you. Some examples of these programs offered are Theater Squared, Pop Rock, and All That Jazz, and Plugged Into Nature. So teachers, if you have any other announcements you would like to have added, please contact or email Mr. Dean or fill out the Google form that was sent out via email. Well, that's going to do it for us in the news today. The Lady Cardinal softball team saw their season come to a close this past Saturday on the semifinals of the state tournament. The Lady Cardinals fell 5-4 to four in this game to the Pea Ridge Lady Blackhawks, thus ending their season. We would like to congratulate the Lady Cardinals on a great season and also congratulate Coach Osnes on a great career. The baseball Cardinals also saw their season come to an end this past Friday in their semifinal round to the state tournament. The Redbirds dropped their semifinal game to the to Magnolia Panthers by the final score of 8-2. to two. We would like to congratulate Coach Harper to, this, to his team on a great season. Well, it's going to do it for us in the Card Center today. Have a magnificent Monday, Farmington. And remember, we're <laughs> I forgot we're not saying masks anymore. <laughs>